Alrighty, welcome back. Well, last episode was quite a breakthrough because I went and explored the Dungeon of Desert and actually, with some luck, found the Red Stone. I also had a hard roll fight against some Reapers who kept putting, chain putting me to sleep. But we still got that and I leveled up. And that means I can now add one more character to my group, and I already know who that is going to be. It's going to be Julia the Tinker, Tinkerer. And you can also donate some money while I'm going there. You can also kill some Etons on my way there. <laughs> I wonder whether even harder enemies will spawn now that I'm that I've reached another level, gained another level. <clears throat> Let's see. This is just the basic fair. We've been fighting them for a couple of levels now. Demons and Atoms. I can get that. Yes, I got the demon. Cool. And all we have to do now is step through the second phase of the Britannia Moongate. I can also raise another virtue at a shrine. Figured out that um, my honesty has reached the highest level. Which is on an island north of Moonglow. So I'll need to go to the boat. I will do that soon. But now it's about adding new members to my party. Don't know if I can add the other two characters. I mean, there's Julia and there's also a shepherd in the game. Don't know if I can add all of them. Don't know if I can level up more. But I guess I'll find out. So let us donate a little bit of money. How much? Let's get 10. Raising or compassion. Okay. Can't give him any money. I think Julia is. Yes, Julia. Job. I care for the poor. Self preservation is the first law of nature. Self sacrifice, the highest rule of grace. So let's ask her to join. I am honored to join thee. She's got really low HP, which could be a challenge in dungeons. And let's see her stats. She's where she's got a mace and she's got leather armor. I think I have another sling, right? I do. So now she's got a ranged weapon as well. I could also get them some bows with the money I have, but let's not waste all that stuff again. Hmm. And now, let's see, we're quick. Uh, we're gonna go through the second phase to get to Trinsic and look maybe for a different weapon. And that's unfortunate because I don't know what phase I am in. So let's do some combat for some XP.
And Julia's first attack, and she actually hit and sent the thing fleeing. That's a good start. So then I'll have to wait for the moon gate again, go to the second place, try and see. I think a bow is like um, 200, 250. So unfortunately I'll have to wait now and skip that one. But that's fine. And so I can equip my group a bit better. Both should do a bit more damage. I'm going to ignore that Nixie for now. What just happened? Does anyone have any idea what that was? I really have no idea. <laughs> that was really weird. I wonder whether that was a book. Or something I have never heard about. And that moon guy just taking a sweet time coming back. Glad I stacked up on food. There we go. And here we are, Twinsic. I should show you all Trinzig and the other towns, the way they look in Ultima Online, now that we've played those games. Should be interesting. Um, let's buy. A bow is 250. Gonna take two. Mm, no, I'm actually gonna take three. Nope. Okay, so let's see. Ready a weapon for Joffrey. We'll take the bow. Also going to equip a weapon for Julia. Again, the bow. And also, who's still using a sling. Ready a weapon for Maria. And... Oh. Okay. Mage may not use the bow. So, let's sell the bow again. And he's going to give me half of the money for that. Nice. What a businessman. And let's see. Want to buy. What is the magic chain? Okay. I don't have enough money for that. I figure because that should be 2,000 or 2,500, I guess. So, let us... Move on to, hold on. Well, I guess I should move on to Britain and get ready for my little boat trip to Dagger Island, right? Because there's, now that I've got a new character, there's not much left to do. 
until I... I mean, of course I can go to another dungeon. I can um, level a bit more, but I'm, if I do grind, I will do that off screen and not record it. But I think the next thing I would like to do is actually raise that virtue at the new shrine. So let's wait for the moon gate. Hold on, it was the third phase, right? Yes, I know I should have memorized that by now. Sometimes I do. Wow. Hello. That's pretty aggressive. Lava hit. Wow, well, they're spewing lava at me. Seven XP. It's not too shabby. Hopefully I can get Julia some kills. It's kind of amazing, right? You're thinking like, this is like this. Pretty old game, 1985. I think it came out originally. And I think this is like the 40th episode of the playthrough. Each one lasts in between 20 and 30 minutes. So roughly we can say we're like at 20 hours of gameplay by now. I think it's even more. Because on GOG.com, on the app where I have downloaded this game, I think it's sad that I recently made it beyond 25 hours played. So yeah. Lots and lots of content. It's actually a long game and we still have stuff to do. I mean, there are other dungeons. We have to find the other stones and then we're not done yet with all the, all the virtues. We haven't been to two of the places yet. So I reckon there's going to be at least another 10 hours in there. So let's wait for the moon gate and it's third phase. Second phase. Third phase. Alrighty, we are back in Britain. I could not go and stand on my bridge and um, farm a few more trolls, but what I would do next is I'm going to get on a boat and go for Dagger Island to find the Shrine of um, Honesty and actually level up my avatar hood there. So this was a shorter episode because it was mostly about adding Julia to the group. I did. And so soon it's going to be another adventure. Thanks again for watching. As always, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.